our cluster is now ready. You can see 12 by 12 OS3 sub, 3 by 3 mons up. The latency graph and the bandwidth graph and the IOPS graphs are also visible. You can hover over any of them to see additional information. And that's it. We're golden. This is how you go from zero to Ceph in about five minutes. Hello, good people of the internet. Today we're going to deploy Ceph in just five minutes with the help of a few virtual machines and Proxmox. This video will roughly have these segments. One, we're going to install Croit on the management VM right here. Two, we're going to uh, boot up these three different VMs, which will, which are on the same subnet as the management VM. And three, we are going to deploy OS recent ones on these three different VMs. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's get started with installing Croit. For now, let's log into a management VM. The operating system on our management VM does not really matter as a software runs in a container. Let's inspect the commands that we have to run. The first command is creating the data container for our application. This is where the application data is going to live. The second, com uh, the second command creates the application container where our Croit application is going to run. We're targeting the Ceph version Quincy, so the tag is Quincy. Let's run the data container. There we go. And same for our application container. There we go. Now our Android application is successfully running. Let's switch to the browser and boot up a few VMs. Before we boot up our VMs though, let's take a look at the Croit UI which can be found at this IP address, the IP address of the management VM. I've already opened it in my browser, so let's go right ahead. We can use the username and password admin and admin, which are the default credentials. We're highly encouraged to change it in a production environment. Uh, once you get past this EULA, you can click on accept and wait for it to load. Here's the network configuration where you can all you need to do is tap 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 tab and tab if you think these values are correct click on save and you have successfully configured your network see now it asks you if you have an existing self cluster so it's also possible to import existing self clusters you can click on close as we are, we are currently uh, in creating a new self cluster and we can go to images to check what image will be booted for our VMs. The VMs are going to be PXC booted with this particular image with OpenSUSE Leap 15.5. Now let's go to Proxmox and boot up our VMs. Start. Start. And start. For the next step, we are going to deploy our Ceph cluster. Now that our VMs are up, we can go ahead and rename them. We can rename them by clicking on edit and changing the name into something more readable. Once that is done, we can navigate to disks, unselect this first and navigate to disks, select all the disks and click on wipe. This is necessary because we want to start clean and make sure that the disks don't contain any data from previous installations. Now that wiping is done, we can sort by the type and on any random SSD, we can deploy Ceph and deploy. It will likely take a minute or two to get it, get the mo first mon running. Since the creation is now done, we can go ahead and close this uh, notification. And if we hover over advisor, you can see that it complains for two few months. That's because we only have one. Let's go ahead and deploy two more. Right click, set to mon, set to mon. This is also going to take a minute or two. Now that that is done, we can click on close like before and proceed to another SSD 
on node 1 this time set to mon now that this is done too we can click on close and we can sort by type again or rather by status again and we can select the remaining disks and set them to OSDs and set to OSD. Now that the OSDs have been created, we have our self listed ready. A cluster is now ready. You can see 12 by 12 OSDs up, 3 by 3 mods up. The latency graph and the bandwidth graph and the IOPS graphs are also visible. You can hover over any of them to see additional information. Even the placement groups card has additional information. We can go ahead and deploy additional uh, gateways like the MDS or the Redos gateway for SFFS and S3 respectively. And that's it. We're golden. This is how you go from 0 to Ceph in about 5 minutes.